Good morning, everyone. I'm Fonce Jessam. In a moment, news about jobs and taxes. But first, Steve Weagle joins us with the news from the Weather Center. Steve, what's up? Thanks very much, Fonz. We have a weak low pressure system just south of the Maritimes, and that'll give us unsettled weather the next few days. It looks like we'll see a bit of sun and cloud today, but skies will cloud over tonight with a few foggy periods across the region. I'll give you all the details coming up on News One. Fonz. We'll see you then, Steve. The new employment statistics are out today, and the news is good across most of the region. The rate is down everywhere, but here in Nova Scotia. More on that at one o'clock. Folks in Canso, Nova Scotia are again looking for ways to protect their jobs. This time, they want to see a resumption of the East Coast seal hunt. Workers from the Sea Freeze plant hope jobs processing seal products could protect jobs threatened by cuts to the plant's turbid quota. There could be more bad news for people who rely on the military for their jobs. A federal report recommends further cuts to bases in this region. On the tax front, Nova Scotians may see the end of their 11% sales tax, but don't jump for joy yet. The tax man is just looking for new ways to collect it. We will look at those stories along with the latest from the O.J. Simpson hearing in Los Angeles. Evidence today is expected to concentrate on bloodstains found on the Simpson property. That and much, much more at 1 o'clock. Please join me then.